and loss and uncertainty. In his last visit here for the opening of When We Rise, he gave me what I think is the last banner he made. And it's on the rail there, and it's his answer to Donald Trump. It's a rainbow that says, rise and resist. Back in 1978, we were talking about the need for a symbol. We had two symbols then. We had the lambda, the Greek letter L. I never quite understood where that symbol came from. Maybe Matt Foreman knows. I don't remember where it came from, but a lot of people didn't quite get it. The other symbol was the pink triangle, which came out of the Nazi death camps. And many years later, when AIDS came, ACT UP transformed it into a symbol of resistance and defiance. But in 1978, it was still a symbol of death and misery. Gilbert wanted something new that would speak to the diversity of our community. And that morning, on Pride Day 1978, we raised it, the first two flags, at United Nations Plaza. And the marchers that morning turned off Market Street to enter Civic Center, and they walked under the flags, and we stood there and watched as everybody looked up and saw the flags and their faces lit up and everyone knew without any explanation at all that this was our flag. Yeah. Yeah. I said to Gilbert, girl, you got to pass this. And Gilbert said, no, this is my gift to the world. And so he lived most of his life in poverty as the flag became ubiquitous and you can buy rainbow tchotchkes anywhere you want to go. <laughs> but Gilbert never made a penny. But he didn't need to because he knows that it worked and that it helped move us all forward. I have a poem that I did not write. I want to read it though and maybe uh, Bruce, can you uh, hold this for me? poem by Stephen Spender. It's called The Truly Great. It's a poem that somebody sent to me the first year of the AIDS Memorial Quilt. Everybody told me the quilt was the stupidest thing they'd ever heard of, but Gilbert told me to start sewing. <laughs> Stephen Spender wrote this after World War I. I think continually of those who were truly great who from the womb remembered the soul's history through corridors of light where the hours are suns endless and singing, whose lovely ambition was that their lips, still touched with fire, should tell of the spirit clothed from head to foot in song, and who hoarded from the spring branches the desires falling across their bodies like blossoms. What is precious is never to forget the essential delight of the blood drawn from ageless springs, breaking through rocks in worlds before our earth. Never to deny its pleasure in the morning's simple light, nor its grave evening demand for love. Never to allow gradually the traffic to smother with noise and fog the flowering of the spirit. Near the snow, near the sun, in the highest fields, See how these names are fetid by the waving grass and by the streamers of white cloud and whispers of wind in the listening sky. The names of those who in their lives fought for life, who wore at their hearts the fire center. Born of the sun, they traveled a short while toward the sun and left the vivid air signed with their honor. <laughs> 